Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another Friday's Finds. If you've been following along for the last couple of months, back in November, I spent some time sleeping in the back of my truck in the National Forest. And at the end of that video, I said there were some improvements needed. And one of those was a, a way, a place to sleep outside of the back of the truck. Because sleeping in the back of the truck <sighs> was a lot of work. So, I've been reaching out to folks to put together a, a, a camping kit a tent camping kit so that I can do more national forest campground camping trips. Places where Miss Trudy Thunder is just too big to go. We're coming up on the monsoon season in Texas and so sleeping on the ground without a cover means you're gonna get wet. So I've decided to add to my, my kit a tent, but not just any tent. I'm going with a teepee tent. So this video, in this video, we're going to unpackage and set up the teepee tent. It's supposed to sleep seven people. I don't think it'll ever sleep seven people. But what I really like about this tent, and the reason I, I went with the teepee tent is uh, they apparently are stronger and they, they they resist wind better than a dome and if you've ever been in a dome tent in the high winds it can be kind of freaky but most importantly i didn't want to have to crawl into the tent i wanted to be able to walk in and 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 not struggle because getting up and down is that's not one of my favorite things to do so anyway i'm gonna set up some time lapse cameras and we're gonna put up a tp tent right here Basically right there, where that tall grass is. Before we get into the, the setup process, let's unpackage this thing and, and see what all is in here. There's actually instructions printed on the inside of the handy dandy carrying case. Stakes, pole, pocket. Stake, pole, and pocket. And a bag for the pole. So this this is a actually a two pole tent, but it's that's one pole. Anyway, once I get it all set up, you'll see what I'm talking about. So stay tuned. Let's go put up a tent.
Well, that didn't didn't take nearly didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. All the the reviews I saw online said it would take 20 minutes. I think I can do it in much less time than that now that I figured out the tricks. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what those tricks are. It's got an awning over this window, which I really like. It means you can leave it open during the you you have some ventilation when it's raining. You can actually point that toward the prevailing winds and it's, it would act as a scoop and vent out the top. It has a pole that you gotta get into these little pockets right here. It, it almost takes two people because you gotta, gotta hold it in the pocket on the other side. But what you wanna do is get, get your finger into the hole and pull down on it. And I'm sure after a couple of setups, that'll that'll loosen up a little bit. The other thing I found was when I was putting up the pole inside, this pole, it's got telescoping feet on the bottom. So when you first put it up, it's gonna be short. To get the full length of the pole in place, you're gonna wanna pull up one of your stakes which is why the floor is wrinkled here I need to stretch that a little bit tighter because I had to pull that stake up to get a, just enough slack to get that pole into position pole position all of the seams inside are not taped so I'm going to be putting some waterproofing material on the outside. I probably ought to put some, some seam sealer on there. And we can open that up and get some ventilation. Hold on, y'all stand, stand right there. Oh, I got some windows open. On most, I watched some videos pertaining to this particular tent. They've made some changes this year, apparently. One is the window on the back that's got the awning. The other is the window on the front, on the door. Now, the previous models had a window in each one of these and no window here. So you actually have the same number of windows, just in a different configuration. All of your windows have got the hook and loop, both the top and the bottom. So you can stow this by rolling this one, by rolling it in. Like that. One thing that I found to be awkward is the door zipper. So this has a rain flap on it that covers it up here. And that actually gets caught in the zipper when you're closing the door.
very simple to set up. I mean, there's not a whole lot of moving parts to it. There's the, the one center support pole and the one pole for the little awning. There's a power port here so you can run an extension cord through for lights and an air conditioner or whatever. It's the Ozark Trail seven person TP tent. Well, I'm, I'm six foot, two inches tall. I have plenty of headroom. I'm preparing to put the TP tent away. I'm gonna pack up the Ozark Trail TP tent. The interior dimensions are eight, 11 by 8, 11. Nine feet by nine feet inside. I'll do the time lapse of disassembly so you can see how it comes together. Very simple. It's simple, it's easy to set up. Takedown will be just as simple. It's well ventilated. I like that. Uh, the one thing I'm not real keen on is the way this door operates on the open and close. But I think that's just, I'll get used to it. But you gotta, you gotta be very mindful of that right there. It really takes two hands. As you can see, the zipper will just roll right over that fabric. That's the only complaint I have. I like it. That's the TP tent, the, the Ozark Trail TP tent. Now, I purchased this one from Walmart, but if you don't want to go to Walmart, you can go to the Amazon link right there. The Amazon, I am an Amazon affiliate. I do earn a little bit of money anytime you utilize one of those links. Thank you for that. I do appreciate it. So if this is your first visit to Dude RV and you found this to be of value, please click on that thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. You're gonna get to, you'd get to, you'll get to see me use this TP tent for real. Uh, the first place will be in the National Forest, the Texas National Forest. For those of you who have already been following along, thank you. That's why I do what I do. And for my patrons, y'all come back now, you hear?